from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. First day of September. Weather-wise, not quite feeling like it. Temperature is still running well above normal. At least got up to 99 here in the Hub City this afternoon. Most of us pushed into the mid and upper 90s. Stays hot this weekend. The humidity is going to be back, though, and with that, some rain chances eventually as well. So here's the upper level pattern and still watching this area of low pressure. That's pretty much right overhead the region. It's now cut off from the upper level flow, so it's just meandering around out there and actually is going to be drifting westward through the course of the weekend. Notice where all the deep tropical moisture is with this on the eastern side. So as this drifts westward this weekend, eventually it's going to be drawing in some Gulf moisture and helping to give us some slightly better rain chances, especially Especially for the back half of the holiday weekend. Satellite radar composite again you can really see where all those showers and storms concentrating this afternoon east of that area of low pressure. Meanwhile, much drier conditions for us here in Acadiana and then points to the west and uh, power Doppler three pretty clean sweep here late this afternoon. Could we still see a very isolated lone shower prior to sunset? Possible, but really no better uh, than around 5%. Most of us should stay relatively quiet through this evening. Overnight tonight will be mild and you will notice it's going to be muggier out there, especially compared uh, to the previous uh, couple of nights. Quickly out in the tropics again, we are busy on the Atlantic side of things. We got a few name systems out there, uh, but none of these are going to be uh, impacting the Gulf nor us here in Acadiana. We did have a tropical depression number 12 uh, that formed uh, earlier today off the African coast, but that's not going to be a concern. The most intriguing system out of all of these is a tropical wave that's uh, coming off the African coast here. So you can move this around just a little bit way out here coming off the African coast. That's going to have about a 50 50 chance to develop over the next seven days. Odds will likely go up down the line and this one's going to make a run to the west. We'll keep an eye on it, but it looks like at least the initial model guidance that it's going to be taking a track north of the Caribbean islands and perhaps getting close to Florida, maybe the east coast down the line. Hopefully it just recurves out into the open at Atlantic, but uh, again, uh, still plenty of time to watch, and that's what we'll continue to do, uh, not only over the next several days, uh, but over the next, uh, we'll say, month to month and a half as we head into the latter parts of the hurricane season. Overnight tonight, temperatures mid to upper 70s, mild but muggier out there for sure. And then for tomorrow, a partly to mostly cloudy sky into the afternoon. I still think we push into the mid 90s. Heat indices sneaking into the triple digits, widely scattered showers and storms. For the second half of the day, rain chances uh, 30 to 40 percent. Not everyone's going to get wet. Kind of a typical uh, summer like pattern. That's the way it's going to go into Sunday. And then we'll bump rain chances up to around 50 to 60 percent uh, for Labor Day on Monday and then into the following Tuesday, as that's when we'll see our deepest uh, low level moisture across the region. Temperatures again heading for the mid and upper 70s overnight tonight. That's where we'll start the day tomorrow. Most of us easily pushing into the mid 90s tomorrow afternoon. Again, those feels like temperatures sneaking into the triple digits for the hottest part of the day, but not off the charts, but certainly will uh, notice a increase in our humidity through the course of the weekend. 76 your projected low tonight. Pretty quiet night ahead. Uh, rain chances no better than 5% uh, through sunset tomorrow into Sunday. 30% for your rain chances, widely scattered, uh, primarily afternoon, early evening showers and storms. 96 for Saturday, 95 into Sunday. Labor Day, again, rain chances up to around 60%, 93 the projected high there. And then gradually rain chances on their way down as next week wears on into the following weekend. And as a result, temperatures a little bit hotter, pushing into the mid, perhaps even upper 90s toward the end of that 10-day period. Well, that's a look at weather for now. Stay with us. We're going to have more news coming up.